You're such an asshole. There is no hope. Only sucky jobs. There is no hope. Only Zool. I've watched maybe 120 of your videos and I see your logic, but almost every disadvantage I've read from whiny online teacher blogs is an improvement over working in my current job. And if I was financially independent right now, I would still want to teach history and this particular sport as passion projects. Oh, oh, well, you're passionate about it. We're bringing passion in. See, because I know, I don't know, okay. No one's heard this before. I'm going to give you a secret, okay? And no one else is going to hear the secret. You can take... I want to make sure no one's around. You can take really shitty, low-paying jobs that require no math, like helping the poor, or being a teacher, or being a guidance counselor, or a social worker, or an artist, or a musician, whatever you want to do. And even though the universal laws of economics and reality determine your price to be very low, even though these, these, these powerful forces that have plagued humanity since time immemorial and have brought down empires and destroyed uh, uh, reichs and have, have laid waste to millions of people through starvation and kind, even though those hard seemingly impenetrable laws of economics have have proven to humanity time and time again that they, they are impenetrable, they cannot be ignored. All you have to do is what American and Western teenage girls do and say you're passionate about it and then poof, it all goes away. It all goes away, that hard stuff. It's your passion, so the laws of economics just go away and disappear and now and flowers come up and dog suits frolic and, and chocolate, uh, not the crappy chocolate, the Gorelli chocolate falls from the sky and everybody gets uh, Nintendo Switches and Ava Mendez comes up and gives out free blowjobs to every guy named Aaron Cleary. That's what happened when you issue the magic word, passionate. Okay, I've busted your balls enough. 